Hi everybody! Welcome to Worthington Library's Online Storytimes. My name is Miss Karen and I do the story times at the Old Worthington Library. Today we are going to be doing some stories about animals and how different animals spend the winter. First, I want to get started with our opening song. We do this every week, no matter who's doing our story times. And I'm going to just give you a quick review of the motions. It's the more we get together and the signs go like this. This is more, the more we get together, I'm going to circle everybody in, the happier we'll be. This is a trickier part, okay? This is a sign for friends. Take your index fingers and give your fingers hugs. For your friends are my friends, okay? So let's do it. You ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great! Let's get started. The first book I'm going to share with you today is called Snow Babies. Who is that? What are those? Those are penguins, yeah. Snow Babies is written by Laura Ellen Anderson and published by Boxer Books. And you can play along while we read, okay? Who are these? Yeah, bears. Do you know what kind of bears they are? They're all white and they live where it's cold. Yeah, polar bears. Rolly poly polar bear cubs play. Can you roll your hands? Roll, roll, roll. Reindeer fawns leap. Ready? Jump, leap. Good job. Baby beaver kits build. Arctic fox cubs hide and seek. Boom! Arctic hare baby bunnies bounce. You ready? Boing, 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 boing. Husky puppies race in the snow. Can you show me how fast you can go? Let's run. Run! Fast, 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 fast! Good job. Penguin chicks, there they are again. Huddle. That means they are standing really, really close together. Do you know why they do that? Yeah, it helps them stay warm. Snow leopard kittens. Climb. Ready? Reach way up high. Don't pull yourself up. Up. Reach way up high. Climb. There you go. Oh, that stretch and climb feels good. Snowy owl chicks go hoo hoo. Wolf cubs howl at the moon. Ow. And baby harp seal pups snuggle. <gasps> baby panda cubs, what are they doing? Yeah, they're snoozing, which is another word for sleep. <sighs> Good job. Now, we're going to do a penguin rhyme, just like we had penguins in our book, okay? And grown-ups, the friends that I have to help us out today, just so you know, they're just socks. Okay, I cut holes in a couple of old black socks and put them on top of a couple of old white socks and then just drew in their faces, okay? So here we go, we've got two little penguins sitting on the ice. One bowed once, the other bowed twice. That means two times. One, two. Waddle, little penguins, waddle away. Come back, penguins. Time to play. Yay! All right, let's do it. 
do it again. You ready? Here we go. Two little penguins sitting on the ice. One bowed once, the other bowed twice. Waddle, little penguins, waddle away. Come back, penguins. Time to play. Yay! Good job. This book I have for you is called Winter, Winter, Cold and Snow. It is by Sharon Gibson Palermo, illustrated by Christina Song, and it is published by Sleeping Bear Press. Now, before we do this, just a couple things I want to show you. First, grown-ups, in the back of this book is a special section where it has information on each one of the animals that we're going to talk about and how they get through the winter. All right? uh, the other thing is a part for all of you. See, the title is Winter, Winter, Cold and Snow. So I'm going to teach you the signs for cold and for snow. And when I say winter, winter, and then you say cold and snow back, you can do the signs with me, okay? Cold looks like this. Like you're shivering cold. Cold. And this is snow. So I'll say winter, winter, and then you say cold and snow, all right? And growing up, the things that I will tell you about each animal are things uh, that I learned from the back of this book. So here we go, winter, winter, cold and snow. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Snow. Chickadee, chickadee, who do you know? I know Bear, asleep in her den. She might wake up when the sun shines in. Now bears eat and eat all fall. And that extra fat helps keep them warm in the winter. When winter comes, they dig a den and they curl up inside. And then snow over the den helps keep them warm. They go into a kind of hibernation called dormancy. That means they sleep deeply, but they can wake up if the snow melts and then look for some more food. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Bear, bear, who do you know? I know Beaver, under the ice, swims to his lodge so cozy and nice. Beavers build their lodges in lakes and ponds. The lodges have a tunnel entrance. See right there up from the bottom? A tunnel entrance that is underwater. Beavers have waterproof fur and they can swim in icy temperatures. Before winter, they cover the lodge with thick mud which freezes hard and helps keep them warm. The lodges also help keep the beavers safe from their enemies. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Beaver, beaver, who do you know? I know deer munching twigs from a tree, alert and quiet as he can be. Winter is a hard time for deer. They grow a thick winter coat to keep warm, but food can be hard to find. They eat the bark and branches of trees and use their sharp hooves to dig beneath the snow for grass. To stay hidden from predators, they eat at dawn and dusk when there isn't much light. Predator is a name for something that wants to eat you. Okay. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Dear, dear, who do you know? I know rabbit, all snowy white, keeps very still and out of sight. Now in the winter, some rabbits grow white fur that looks like snow. Their fur is camouflaged, and means it helps them hide from predators. Rabbits also hide by staying very still. It's harder to see something that doesn't move. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Rabbit, rabbit, who do you know? 
I know Wolf, stealthy and sleek, ears pricked high for a mouse's squeak. Wolves have a double layer of fur to keep out the cold. They're active in the winter looking for mates, and their pups will be born in the spring. So not all animals hibernate during the winter. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Wolf, wolf, who do you know? I know Owl, who soars from his nest, hunts all night, and takes a daytime rest. Some owls mate early in winter. That means they get ready to have babies. They find an old nest that was built by a large bird or a squirrel, maybe. And the mama owl lays her eggs and sits on them all winter while her mate brings her food. She can keep the eggs warm in very cold weather. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Owl, owl, who do you know? I know Woodchuck under the ground. All winter long, he sleeps very sound. Now Woodchuck's winter burrow is deep enough that it never freezes. They sleep all winter without waking up. Now that's called true hibernation. They build fat before the winter, and then they go to sleep in their burrows. Their heart rate and their breathing slow down, and they hardly use any energy, so they don't need food until spring. Winter, winter, cold and snow. Woodchuck, woodchuck, who do you know? Woodchuck, woodchuck, sound asleep. Chickadee, chickadee, don't make a peep. Now chickadees in the winter, they have to eat all day to build fat. They have thick winter coats to help keep them warm. At night, they burrow into a tiny hole in a tree. That hole is no bigger than a quarter, so about that big. And while they sleep, the fat in their body feeds them and helps keep them warm. And it uses very little energy. So the next day, by morning, they need to start eating all over again. And there are those facts. signs. Thank you for helping me. So now we're going to do a song about hibernation. Remember what hibernation is? Right. Something sleeps all through the winter. It's hibernating. And we're going to start off asking, in the winter, where's the bear? Our bear is sleeping in its log or lair. Lair is another word for like a den or a, a hidden place where a wild animal stays to live. In the winter, where's our frog? It's sleeping by a pond or log. In the winter, where's the snake? Our snake is in the mud beneath the lake. So here we go. And we are going to sing this song as we march. So we're going to pick up our legs, bend our knees, and put our feet down. You ready? So here's how the chorus goes. And you can sing it with me. Ready? Hibernation, time for hibernation. Hibernation, time to go to sleep. All right. In the winter, where's the bear? Sleeping by a log or lair. Where's the bear? Log or lair. Oh, hibernation, time for hibernation. Hibernation, time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the frog? Sleeping by a pond or log. Where's the frog? By the log. Oh, hibernation, time for hibernation. Hibernation, time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the snake? In the mud beneath the lake. Where's the snake? Beneath the lake. Oh, hibernation, time for hibernation, hibernation, time to go to sleep. Excellent singing. Thank you for your help. The last story I want to share with you today is Froggy Gets Dressed by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. 
and it is published by Viking Penguin. Now, what do we know about frogs that we just learned during the winter? Yeah, they mostly sleep. We'll see what happens when Froggy wakes up. And there is a part for you in this story. When I say, Froggy, I want you to say, what? Let's practice, you ready? Froggy, what? Are you ready? Does he look like he's having fun in the snow? It was cold, cold. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Snow, snow, he sang. I want to play in the snow. Go back to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. Don't you know, frogs are supposed to sleep all winter. Wake up when the snow melts. No, no, cried Froggy, I'm awake, awake. I want to go out and play in the snow. So, Froggy put on his sock, zoop, put on his boots, zoop, put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, zoot, tugged on his mitten, zoom, and flopped outside in the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, what, yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Whoops, cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, pulled off his boots. He left his socks on and slipped his pants on. Zip. Then he pulled on his boots, zip, put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, zip, tugged on his mitten, zoom, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. And his mother called, Froggy! What? called Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Whoops, he cried. I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, added his mother. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat. He left his pants, boots, and socks on. And buttoned up his shirt. Zoot, zoot, zoot. Then he snapped on his coat. Snap. Put on his hat. Zap. Tied on his scarf. Zoot. Tied on, tugged on his mitten. Zoom. And flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. And his mother called. Froggy! What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens. He had on his scarf. He had on his coat. He had on his shirt. He had on his pants. He had on his boots. He had on his socks. He reached up. Yep, he had on his hat. What could be missing? What do you think he's missing? Your underwear, his mother laughed. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens. Untied his scarf. Unsnapped his coat. Unbuttoned his shirt. Unzipped his pants. Pulled off his boots took off his socks. He left his hat on and slipped his long johns on with a zap of elastic. Then he put on one sock, zoop, pulled on one boot, zoop, tugged on one mitten, zoom, started to tug on the other and let it drop. I'm too tired, he said. And he went back Good night, Froggy. Thank you so much for joining us for our online story time today. We are going to do our closing rhyme, and it's called Tickle the Clouds. You ready? So we're going to stretch way up high. Reach way up there and tickle the clouds. 
Now, tickle your toes. Now turn around. And tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Take care.